A total amount of $5,900 was invested in two accounts. One account earned 3.5% interest and another earned 4.5% interest. If the total interest for the year was $229.50, then how much was invested in each account? Let's begin by identifying variables. Let's let x represent the amount invested at 3.5% interest. If we do that, then we can let the rest be represented by the total, which is 5,900, minus the amount invested in the other account. So that's what's left. 5,900 minus x will represent the amount invested at 4.5%. Now we can use the formula for interest, interest equals the principal times the rate times the time. Using this formula, we can determine an algebraic expression for the interest in each account. So in the first account, the amount that's invested is the principal, so that's x, times the rate, 3.5%, written as a decimal, is 0 0.035 and it's invested for one year. So the actual amount of interest in that account is 0.035x. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other account. Certainly it's the same formula, interest equals principal times rate times time, but in the account earning 4.5%, the principal is 5,900 minus x. So we have here the principal times the rate. In that account, the rate is 4.5%, or as a decimal, 0 0.045 times one year. And we can write that as 0 0.045 times 5,900 minus x. That's the actual amount of interest in that second account. Okay, now the total interest for the year was 229.50. So that's going to equal the sum of the interest in both accounts. This defines our algebraic setup. The interest in the first account, 0.035x, plus the interest in that second account, 0 0.045 times 5,900 minus x, well, the total interest for the year should be 229.50. And this is our algebraic setup. We're going to use this to solve for x. So we can see the first step would be to apply the distributive property. Multiply both terms in there by 0.045x. Here we have 0 0.045. 35x plus 0 0.045 times 5,900 is 265.50 minus 0 0.045x equals 229.50. Here we have same side like terms. 0 0.035x minus 0 0.045 is negative 0.01x plus 265.50 equals 229.50. Now we can isolate the term with x if we subtract 265.50 on both sides. And that leaves us with negative 0.01x equals negative 36. And then finally, dividing both sides by the coefficient here of x, negative 0.01, we're left with a value for x. So x equals, in this case, 3600. 
And we can determine the amount in the other account by back substituting into 5,900 minus x, which in this case would be 5,900 minus 3,600, which is 2,300. So this is the amount that was invested in the account at 4.5%. Okay, so we have the amounts invested in both accounts. Now all that's left to do is answer the question in a sentence. Okay, $3,600 was invested at 3.5% interest and $2,300 was invested at 4.5%.